Hey guys, it is Jessica and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be using the Kindred Stamps Space Heroes Mystery Box. And as far as I'm aware, as of recording this voiceover, the mystery box is still available. It just doesn't have the washi tape in it. I double check that, but I will have a link below if you want to check that out. I bought this with my own money and I just really adored the theme of this box. So I had to have it for myself. But to get started, I'm going to be using a piece of 110 pound Nina Solar White cardstock. And I'm using a larger rectangle die and then a smaller one. And I'm going to die cut those. So moving on, I went ahead and cut down a piece of Simon Says Stamp Smoke Gray cardstock to an A2 size, four and a quarter by five and a half. And then I layered the Simon Says Stamp Mod Stripe stencil over the top and secured it with washi tape on my glass media mat. I'm going to do some quick ink blending with some Hero Arts Unicorn White Pigment Ink and just an older ink blender that I had an extra foam for. This stencil has some really slender areas so that is why I'm pouncing it instead of rubbing over it because it will lift, lift up those hexagon shapes quite a bit. Now I'm going to go back to that frame that I had die cut that rectangle out of and stamp the two characters that I'm going to be using on that. And I'm stamping them with Gina K inks. I decided to not stamp them in just black ink. So for the first one, I'm using a darker gray color and this other one, I'm using more of a green brown color. What I should have done actually was not had stamped these on 110 pound cardstock. My go-to normally for Copic coloring is 80 pound because it's still a sturdy cardstock, but it's lighter weight. So it doesn't absorb a lot of the alcohol ink right away like the 110 pound does. I did have some issues blending the little character on the left there. His body kind of got a little misshapen after coloring him in. I tried to fix it with a colorless blender, but because of the thickness of the cardstock, it just creates more of a mess when I try to correct issues with a colorless blender. So I don't know if anybody else has had those issues, but I always do recommend using 80 pound cardstock when Copic coloring It's just, it's easier to blend. So I wasn't originally going to be stamping on this cardstock and coloring on it like I am. I was actually going to fussy cut these images out, but I decided to get a little lazy on that part. So I ended up here. <laughs> I may do with uh, my choices. It completely washed away all those detail lines from the stamp because I had used such a lighter ink. You can see there on the left of his shoulder, there was kind of a little blob that happened with the darker brown. And that's what I tried to fix with the colorless blender. So he looks a little more stockier than he should in the final product. 
So I had stamped the sentiment using a dark purple edible eggplant, I believe is what it's called, from Gina K. Then I cut out the sentiment using an MFT speech bubbles die. And then I'm gonna ink the edges just using my black Copic marker. It's what I had on hand. The chisel tip actually works pretty good for this. Now I'm gonna go back to the frame. I'm gonna flip that over and then I'm gonna add adhesive right around the outer edges of that rectangle that I had die cut, the smaller rectangle. And then I'm gonna lay this piece of galaxy paper that came in the mystery box from Kindred Stamps over that. So it'll actually be laid underneath this white rectangle. So it's like you get a little glimpse of space. It's like a little window. Going to the inside real quick, I'm gonna stamp the little wood character and then I'm gonna stamp the sentiment underneath that using the same dark purple Gina K ink that I had stamped the sentiment on the front with. So after I took the stenciled background and attached that to the Nina 110 pound solar white card base that is top fold, I go ahead and layer on that white frame piece with the galaxy and the two characters. And then I attached the speech bubble right above the little raccoon using a couple of adhesive foam circles to pop it up a little bit. And I wanted to use the sequence that comes in this mystery box. And it has some great hexagon shapes, which I thought went well with the background. So I just laid down a few drops here and there using my multimedia matte glue and then adhered the sequence to those. You could also make this a shaker card. It would be super easy to turn it into one if you wanted to. That's it from you guys. So I hope you enjoyed this really quick fun card using some of the goodies inside of the Kinder Stamps Space Heroes mystery box. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't already. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. I appreciate you and I will see you in the next one. Meh.